Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Vimalin virtual machine backup software for VMware Workstation and VMware Player. Uh, so this is free if you're using it for personal use, I believe. And I think you'd have it on three computers. And if you're using it for corporate use, you have to pay for it. I only think it's like 45 bucks, something like that. So it's pretty simple, pretty basic, but it's just a nice way to be able to back up your VMware Workstation environment if you want to just have something automated and something you could schedule and also do restores. All right, so we have it installed on this computer here. So we have a bunch of virtual machines here. I go to the uh, library. You can see what we have here. So here's the main interface. You got your home, then you have your backup jobs. So this shows what job has been set up to run here. And if you click on one to highlight it, it shows you uh, the type of backup. So this one's set for a weekly backup and when it was last run and the status. And this one's set for end of the month, hasn't run yet. Uh, this was a weekly backup. This one is just a manual backup. And so is this one. So when you check the boxes, that means they're going to run. So if you go back home, you can see those are the active backups. So let's say we take off Windows 10 Professional or by unchecking it. And I go back home here. You can see it's off the list. So they need to be checked to run. And then you have your backup targets or you could set a drive. So I have it set up on this V drive here and it tells you the space available you have here. I could use network path. That might only be for the professional version. I'm not sure you'd have to check that. You have multiple targets too. Uh, the schedules so there's a weekly end of month and end of year and you can edit the defaults here so if you want to change the uh, weekly to be a different day of the week and a different time and number of copies and if you want to change the target you could do so from there same for end of month and end of year then the archive this shows you the uh, backups that were done here so these two were on demand uh, this was on weekly and you can see this failed here because it was unable to take the snapshot. And I think because it was uh, encrypted because it has a TPM for Windows 11, because I did this one on the weekly backup schedule and it ran fine. Um, but also on this one too, it was running with a TPM. But once I turned it off, it backed up just fine on the weekly schedule. So running with encryption seems to be a problem. Possibly, I think that's the reason but turned off with encryption seems to be okay, or running with no encryption seems to be okay as well. And here's where we could come to restore. And then you have your uh, log. It shows you start and finished, and you could sort by date or virtual machine name, and if it failed or was okay. Email settings, if you want to send yourself emails about the uh, backup jobs, you just have to set up an email server and so on. The queue, what's set to run here. And of course, help. So we're going to try to restore one here. So I have this uh, Windows 10 Professional. It was backed up while I was running, and this file open and unsaved. So we're going to shut it down, restore it, and see what happens when we uh, restore it here. I'm not sure if it's going to restore it turned on or if it's going to uh, have to boot it back up. So we'll see. Probably don't have to shut it down for the restore, but what we're going to do when we do restore it is uh, make sure we mark it as moved instead of copied so it keeps the hardware identifier for the virtual machine. All right, so that's off. So we have Windows 10 Professional. Let's click on Restore. Say yes. We're sure we want to restore it. We're going to click on this PC. Go to Data. Go to VMware VMs. And let's, make a, let's just make a new folder for it called restored and put it in there okay so the virtual machine was running when the backup state was taken as a result you, you could choose to restore the VM in the running state or shutdown state so this one was running so normally if it was turned off you'd pick shutdown state so this was running so we're going to do that click on continue And then click on, actually it's going to start restoring on its own here. So we'll have to pause the video and then be back when it's uh, finished. All right, so it says it's restored here. So we got our VMware folder here with the restored folder. So here's the VM right here. 
So we should just be able to either go to a VMware Workstation and scan for new virtual machines or double click the VMX file. So let's try that. Okay, so it's got our preview there. So let's click on resume. So we're going to say I moved it because it's not a copy. We actually moved it because we want the same hardware identifier. You could do I copied it, but it's going to change the hardware identifier. It might affect your Windows uh, SIDs and that kind of thing too. So that's totally up to you. You might want to research this before you do it. But this is just a test, so I'm going to do I moved it. So it's restoring it. Okay, so now we have our restored VM running as a separate VM. We still have our original one here turned off, and it has the file that was open, wasn't saved, so it made a nice snapshot of it and kept it as is, so we're able to restore it pretty easily there. Okay, so one other thing. When you go to your uh, archive where you chose to back up your VMs, you'll notice So here's the name of the computer, the host, Win10. So you have these folders here, so this is a little hard to see where your VMs are your backups. You just have to open it and look for this uh, hint file here and then that'll tell you the name of the VM that's backed up. So Win11 Pro, Win11 Home, and then there's Professional. So once again, you know, just kind of go through the, the wizards here. It's a, it's a little confusing at first till you start playing with all the different categories and, you know, when you click on Show All, you, you think it's going to apply to this, but Show All just takes you back home. So I'll put a link in the description. You could download it, install it, and start backing up your VMs, assuming you have another uh, drive to put them on, and then you'll be able to back up your stuff. And one other thing, I just want to show you real quick. So when you go into your backup files, and you, know, you have all your ones here, and you go into this on-demand folder, you'll see your actual VMDK files and other VM files. So if you need to do something with them from there, that's another way you could get to them. And then to add a backup, which I didn't show you, you just want to click on Backup Jobs, uh, click on the plus here. Uh, let's say we want to do this home upgrade. Click on add. And then you could either click on backup now or go down to the second part and add a schedule. If you click here, it's going to add another VM. But if you go down here, you could pick the uh, schedule to add. And then also, now that I think about it, if you go back to the schedules, uh, you could create a new schedule and call it whatever you want and you know change the dates and repeat times and when it runs and the target and all that good stuff so you don't have to use just the backup you know the weekly end of month and the end of year you could add multiple uh, per custom schedules if you want so other than that I think I covered all the basics so like I said I'll put a link in the description you could download it and then you could uh, try it out and get your VMs backed up and especially get them scheduled that's the best part about this uh, restart works out pretty well too all right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.